Hello everyone, my name is Lewis Brown and this is my uh, project body of work, uh, the introduction of fundamental art creation. Uh, on this tour, I'll be taking you through different time periods of art history and the depictions of the human body. Okay. So the first one we have is uh, Giotto's Lamentation. Um, this picture was uh, made and produced in 1305 to 1306. The style is uh, of Italian Renaissance. The painting shows a moment um, after Jesus has been crucified right here. Um, he's being held by his mother, Mary. Uh, yep, he's being held by his mother, Mary, um, as on the ground while facing upward, many of Jesus's followers are surrounding him. As you can see, these people right here are all of his followers. Um, let's see. One in particular is Mary Magdalene, which she's focused at the feet right here. Um, Giotto also includes angels in the sky, which are all right here. Let's see. Giotto uses techniques such as having the wall behind the people close to portray the people grieving Jesus' body. This wall right here. He also places humans in a direction to make it appear as though they are looking down or hovering Jesus. These people all around here hovering right over Jesus, almost like an umbrella. Um, this piece shows how life comes full circle. Mary is holding Jesus right here uh, in the same position as she did when he was a baby. The message of the piece is coming together in time of good and bad and shows remorse and sadness. The next painting I'll be showing is David's Donatello or Donatello David, sorry. Uh, in 1440 through 1460, the style of this painting, uh, let's see, the style of this early, the style of this painting is early Renaissance. During the Renaissance, Donatello shows King David, this guy right here. Um, who defeats the Goliath uh, with his this sword right here? He's a, he's actually standing on the Goliath's head. Uh, he's holding he's holding while standing on the, the the head of the Goliath. He is standing on his head almost to show ease of victory. This is the first of the freestanding nude sculptures since the classical era. The the influence of the piece are from ancient Greece and Rome. Um, it shows a deep appreciation for the human body, as you can see. David's clearly naked. Um, David represents the young presence uh, Florence earned, uh, and the picture depict, depicted shows the style and times during the Renaissance. So here's David standing on the Goliath's head right here, who he's just defeated in a proud position as if he just, it, it was an easy uh, defeat. Okay, the next picture I'm doing is Peter Paul Rubens' Raising of the Cross. Uh, this picture was done in 1660. This is a Baroque style painting. Uh, Baroque style flourished in Europe from the early 17th century to, to the 1740s. It's relative to the church and the sacrifice of Jesus. Here shows uh, the elevation of the cross. You can see the cross behind Jesus. He's already been pinned to the cross and he's now being raised. Uh, let's see. The body of Christ being risen by very muscular figures. All these guys working very hard to get uh, get Jesus up on the cross and, and straight up and down. Um, let's see. It shows the, the men hard working to be darker almost as if a light is shining on Jesus. If you notice, all the figures around Jesus, Jesus are darker than actually Jesus himself. Um, let's see. It shows the body struggling to raise the raise Jesus. Uh, it shows how that shows how real this picture is. Uh, men are struggling to pick him up because it's not easy, and he and the cross and Jesus himself are heavy. Um, and this shows Jesus before his death. The men kind of blend into the background, like I stated before, of the picture symbolizing the power Jesus holds. Okay. Next picture I'll be doing is Jacques Louis David Oath of Harati. Um, this was painted in 1784. The style is neoclassic, a mixture of Greek and Roman mythology. Uh, it's art that depicts a virtuous behavior. It shows sacrifice for a country and patriotism. Three guys, which, which would typically be lined up with another three guys to fight for their city um, and fight for their families. 
three brothers will fight to sacrifice life for each other. The picture also shows these women crying in the corner because they know the outcome that some of the men will not be returning home or what some of the men won't make it uh, like back to their family. Uh, this grew one. This grew to be one of the biggest pictures uh, of neoclassical art. Okay, the next picture I'll be doing, next painting I'll be doing is Edward Manette's Olympia, uh, painted in 1863. The style of realism. Here lies a French uh, prostitute after doing a job. The maid who is depicted in the background, I'm not sure if you can see her on my phone, but the maid depicted in the background uh, is depicted, is shaded darker, blending into the background, showing her position in times. Uh, she looks like a slave. She's handing off flowers. Um, she's very almost unseen. If you see the picture in different uh, different types, um, she's there's sometimes she won't even be there. It'll just be the white uh, in the picture. You, could, you couldn't even see her. Um, let's see. This is a very vulgar era in France. The artist shows that the nude body only give uh, shows the nude body, but only gives real detail to the hands. The hands are very dirty. The feet are very dirty, and the face. Uh, but everything else is pretty much covered up. You can't really you can see her the outline of her breast, but you can't really see her breast. And she's obviously covering her uh, private area. Um, giving a dark look to the picture exposes the exposes complexity in working in two-dimensional space. So obviously trying to get these two uh, figures into the picture without having them blend in too much or, or mesh, uh, this, is what this is what kind of art was in, in this time. Uh, in this piece, there is an engaging nature, almost as if you're looking at this lady right here as you are a customer and reminds the viewer that a real reality, there's a real reality to the subject matter in prostitution. Okay, the last picture we'll be doing is Pablo Picasso's less, I, I'm going to mess up this word, but De, De Moiselles de Avignon. Um, this, this was painted in seven, 1907 and influence, uh, it has an influence of African art. Um, as you can see, these are naked women. Um, yeah, as, as an African style influence and the painting of cubism um, using geocentric shapes. We find five prostitutes in a brothel in Spain. The artist represents the birth of modern art um, in style of full, and the style is full of sharp, sharp angles and lines. So if you notice, these are all made up by shapes. So the, the lines are very like, uh, you know, detailed and, and uh, rigid. Um, let's see. Uh, if you notice, it's in the 20th century of Liberian and African art. If you notice this lady right here and this lady right here, they both look to appear to be wearing African mask. Um, very tight feeling and closeness as if all, all these girls are almost scrunched together. So you're making kind of a decision if you are the, like the viewer. Um, Picasso uses shapes and lines to show conflicting perfection and appreciation of ancient cultures. This allowed Picasso to stand out. The artist portrays a real Spanish practice. The artist shows the women as inviting or welcoming, chooses multiple women and faces, almost to give the viewer a choice. So when you see this picture, uh, you will choose maybe what woman you think looks the best. Um, that's that's what it. That's what modern art is. Um, basically, the viewer gets a choice. So yeah, that's that's my uh, presentation. Thank you for watching. Our pieces I will be comparing is Edward Manette's uh, painting from 1863 and Pablo Picasso's painting from 1907. Uh, in these two paintings, you see two female prostitutes. Picasso shows, obviously, African art, and um, and in Eric, I mean, Edwards, Manette, Olympia, he shows African struggle. You, you see a slave in the background here, and in this, you see Af women wearing African, uh, African masks. So, um, Edward uses more uh, at like an abstract uh, view, making the uh, background very dark and just having one lady in, almost in like a silhouette. It's just her, it's just her body. And pa Picasso uses more geometric shapes to show uh, a bunch of women, but also like their structure and the way their, bo their body is, their body, human body is shown. Um, the first one, you're very likely to have an opinion on just this woman, um, which, 
in Pablo Picasso's, he gives you a variety of women to choose from. But again, they're both, <clears throat> both pitches show a uh, woman making a choice, which is clearly prostitution. And the time that it was in, uh, the women both look very uh, similar, as you can tell that they're both women, um, because the times are very close together, even though the both artists use different shapes to form women. This is my reference page. Thank you very much.